This is the fastest, most efficient automatic TNT cannon on the market. It's small, it's compact, it doesn't use as many resources as some other ones do. And quite frankly, it's just fun to use. So let's get into it. It's got two simple mechanisms, one to load the machine and one to fire it. As we can see here as I press this button, it loads up the cannon. And as soon as I press this button, it fires the cannon. Very simple. It's got a storage at the back to hold all the TNT minecarts that it uses. It has very fast response times as the machine is literally instant, other than a very, very small tick of the delay. And it takes so much of a smaller space than most of them. Best part is, with the storage, you can infinitely expand this within reason. You know, you can make this all the way up to the top of the world if you want to, and it will still work. It's really cool. So let's build it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is the space requirement. So you're going to need four blocks of length, three blocks of width, and five blocks of height at least. At least five blocks of height. Of course, if you want to install more storage ca capacity, then you have to build it higher. But this is generally the area you're going to use. Then the materials are nine of any solid blocks, three slabs, two dispensers, two buttons, one lever, five hoppers, eight chests, one water bucket, one powered rail, one redstone dust, one redstone repeater, two observers, or one sticky piston. I'll let you pause here so you can read this list. Not only that, but you also need lots of TNT and lots of TNT minecarts. Now, I recommend that you probably have an iron farm by now, and assuming that you want to build this sort of TNT cannon here, I'm assuming you probably do. If not, you should probably build one of them first. And just for reference, these are also the materials we'll be using. The blocks and slabs are temporary. You don't have to use light blue wool and stone slabs, but, you know, I'll let you just take a, a pause here if you want to use all this. Right. We're going to take all of these items and we're going to start building this machine. So first I want you to come to the front here and all I want you to do is get your slab and put it right at the front here. This will be the front of where the cannon fires so it will fire in that direction if the slab's here. Then what I want you to do is I want you to place a block on either side and then by these blocks just place two jutting out just like that. Then what I want you to do is I want you to get this powered rail and I just want you to put this right at the back between these two blocks here. It should be facing towards the back and towards the front, not sideways. Then what I want you to do is grab your water bucket, just place it in between the powered rail and the slab, just like that. Then what I want you to do is grab your dispenser and put it behind the powered rail, just like that, so it's facing onto the powered rail. And one coming to the left side, just place one above this block here, so it's facing just over this slab. Then what I want you to do is I want you to grab your repeater and just coming out of this dispenser here I just want you to place one like this and tick it back twice and then a redstone dust going into it. Then I want you to finish up the main mechanism by placing two slabs above these two blocks here. This is the main mechanism done and other than one block which we can just place there which will make sure that the TNT doesn't go anywhere specific. This is the main mechanism for the machine. Now we're going to build the storage. So we're going to grab our hopper and come over here, and to the back right of this dispenser here, which is going to place one hopper here. Then we're going to put a chest on top of it, and a chest coming to the right next to it. Then to the right of that, we're going to place a hopper, and we're going to put two chests on top of it, just like this. And then we're going to put a hopper, and two chests on top of this. As you can see, we're starting to make a pattern, and we can continue this pattern as far as we want. As long as we put hopper, two chests, hopper, two chests, and we can continue that pattern upwards, although I'm gonna keep it like this. So now we're actually gonna build the mechanism that loads the machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a block on top of this dispenser here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and grab our observer, and what we want to do is we just want to place an observer on top of this block here with the... It might be easier to place it on the end of this dispenser, of this uh, hopper here. The face to be facing upwards. 
Then what we want to do is we want to come down here and next to this chest block here, to one up and to the side of this observer, just place one observer like this. So the redstone dot is facing up and you can see the face is facing down. Then what we're going to do is we are going to place a temporary block, just get some dirt or something, you know, just get a bit of dirt and then shift click over the uh, repeater here then just place yourself a block on top of it and break the temporary block then finally we're going to come and put this sticky piston on the side of this block here facing into this observer here then what we're going to do is we're going to finally grab our two buttons place one on this block here and one on this dispenser and there you go you've got it done so you may be wondering what's going to happen what's the lever for the lever is well I don't have a lever here for some reason. The lever is for if you want to take out this button, because of course this, this machine can have an infinite amount of power. The, the longer the button is pressed for, the longer the machine will run for, well the storage will run for. So if we put a lever here we can actually control how much uh, power we want the machine to have. Although I recommend just using the button as it's still very powerful and doesn't take up many resources. I primarily uh, hope it should be a oak or any kind of wooden button um, as that will be the best for it. And now just loading it is very simple. This dispenser here will need a lot of TNT which is why I'm going to grab some TNT and just place it in this dispenser here. And then what we're going to do is in all of these, this is where our TNT minecarts are going to go. So we're just going to grab TNT minecarts and just fill them up here. And we can do this everything everywhere else. And the more TNT minecarts you put in here, the better it will be. It will just quickly fill up. If you want to do this in creative, then one thing you can do is instead of filling up all these manually, is on any, on any block uh, with an openable chest, so either a chest or a barrel or a shulker or a dispenser or a hopper, you can actually control middle click and you can get the item with uh, something called plus NBT, so you get some extra data inside, which when you place it down will automatically have, you know, the items inside. So I can replace this here with this, I can replace this here with this, and we'll already have TNT Minecast, but as you can see it's going to the bottom chest here. And we can do the same with chests if we fill this up and, you know, let it happen. And that is the machine done. So now we've got everything ready for this machine to work. So all we need to do is load it up and then fire. I couldn't even see that. This machine is now completely functional and it is very quick. Best part is, is that you don't even have to fire it instantly. You can just, you know, load it up, leave it for a while, maybe come back later, and then when you're ready to fire it, perfect. It's got a lot of power to it, and if you want less power, then what you can do is you can change this oak button to a stone button. Because um, if, if you do require less power in your machine, then this will significantly halt its power I don't know why that didn't work I figured out the problem um, I ran out of TNT minecarts which surprisingly is a bad idea for a machine that heavily relies on TNT minecarts so um, yeah always make sure you stock up because uh, it's gonna get a, a bit messy this has been the Humano guy and uh, I will see you in another video Goodbye, everyone.